Matthew chapter 12, we're about halfway through Matthew's gospel. And as you read this chapter, you see that things are heating up for Jesus. And by that, I mean those who are opposing him. There's people now coming against him. He's gained great fame and following, but now the religious leaders of the day are starting to be, well, afraid of him, envious of him. He heals on the Sabbath. He eats on the Sabbath. He's breaking their religious rules. And they begin to press in on him, begin to accuse him. In fact, they even begin to challenge him by asking him for signs to prove who he is. And one of the verses I want to read says this, that they came to him saying, teacher, we want to see a sign from you. And he answered and said to them, an evil and adulterous generation seeks after a sign and no sign will be given, he says, except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the son of man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Jesus says, you want a sign. Well, you ask it because you're evil. He says, but this is the only sign I'll give you. I'll be buried. And three days later, just like Jonah in the fish, I'll come back. And this is the sign that Jesus is the true Messiah, the true Son of Man. No one else, no one ever will, no one ever has been resurrected and having a body that will live forever. Jesus rose from the dead. That's the great difference between him and any other faith in the world. Jesus died on a cross, buried in a tomb, and three days later rose from the dead. He is the true Son of God. They asked for a sign. He said, this will be the sign. And after he was crucified, Jesus rose from the dead. Mm -hmm.